Uh, this was a book um, one of Ashley's friends uh, made for her after um, uh, she had passed. Sherry Hyatt is once again being forced to relive her daughter's murder after her convicted killer attempted to have her sentence reviewed and failed. Because I thought to do that, because it's such a rare thing, I guess, to appeal to the judge alone to actually get him to change his sentence. So uh, I'm thinking you have to be a model inmate, you know, everything's perfect, you're being perfect to everybody. You've done a 360, you know, you got an attitude change and, you know, and, and uh, you know, another thing is would you would be accountable for your actions. The problem being, Ashley Hyatt's killer, who cannot be named as she was a juvenile at the time of the incident, had numerous reports against her from her probation officer, which included drug use, bullying, and other rule breaking. How do you think you deserve to be out when you're doing that? Like, that, I think, more is what shocks me, is the shock value of, I don't deserve to be in jail, I took a life, I'm going to try to get out of jail while I'm doing this stuff in jail. You know what I mean? How did, that doesn't even make sense to me. The report also indicated that she was boy crazy and focused on meeting with other male residents. Look what happened the night Ashley died. There was a fight with a boy a month before she was sentenced. So her, her breach was in March, I believe, uh, of this year. And then that was over a boy again. She, someone called the police on her in Vancouver area for arguing with a boy. And then, as he said in jail, there was issues with boys. So um, I think it's a pattern. This is the second time Ashley's killer has been denied by a court decision following her conviction. Ashley died back in 2010 at a Peachland house party after she was stabbed. Jen Zielinski in West Kelowna for Castanet News.